Welcome to the video on Cameralink. Cameralink was the first standard for machine vision digital camera interface. Cameralink uses one or two connectors. More about that later. A cable runs directly from the camera to the camera interface in the computer. A special board to interface with a camera is called a frame grabber. Because the camera connects only directly to the frame grabber in the computer, Cameralink is a point-to-point -point interface. It is very high speed with low latency. Because Cameralink does not require any check of data integrity, it is possible for the data to be corrupted. However, this problem is extremely rare. Because development of the original Cameralink standard occurred before GeniCam, GeniCam is not required by Cameralink. However, later versions of the Cameralink standard do provide for GeniCam. So, GeniCam is optional with Cameralink. You would need to check with your camera and with your software to see whether or not your vision system supports GeniCam. Cameralink uses LVDS. This is an acronym for Low Voltage Differential Signaling. Low voltage means lower power than higher voltage. It also means the signal can switch faster for potentially higher speeds. Low voltage signals are potentially more noise susceptible than higher voltage signals. To minimize noise problems, a differential signal pair is used. This means that when the voltage on one wire goes high, the voltage on the companion wire goes low. The two wires are twisted together and covered with a flexible shield. The result is protection from electrical and magnetic noise. What noise is coupled into the wires is coupled to both equally, so the difference between the two signals remains constant. The receiver only senses the differential in the voltages on the two wires and not the absolute voltage on any one wire. The channel link transmitter used in camera link transmits 28 bits of data, 4 bits at a time. What happens is that the camera loads 28 bits of data into the channel link transmitter, and the transmitter initiates seven high-speed transmission, four bits at a time. At the receiving end, the channel link receiver routes the seven four-bit groups into 28 output bits. Here is a diagram of the base camera link configuration. It consists of one channel link transmitter in the camera and a corresponding channel link receiver in the frame grabber and transmits 24 bits of image data in parallel. There are four separate LVDS control lines from the frame grabber to the camera to control camera events such as the trigger to start exposure. In addition, there are two other LVDS lines for serial data transmission to allow digital control of the camera. On the channel link portion, 24 inputs are allocated to three bytes of image data. The other four lines are reserved for status signals from the camera, specifically frame valid, line valid, and data valid. The fourth control line is reserved and not presently used. There is a medium configuration that transmits more data. It adds another channel link transmitter to transmit another three bytes of image data. This configuration transmits 6 bytes, 48 bits, in parallel and achieves up to 510 megabytes per second of image data transmission. Finally, there is a full configuration that adds another channel link transmitter to transmit 8 bytes or 64 bits of image data at a time. Although 9 bytes could be transmitted, the extra inputs are unused. The standard stops at 8 bytes. Although not standardized, there is also a light configuration that transmits fewer data bits than the base configuration and a DECA configuration that transmits 80 bit of image data in parallel. The base configuration is able to transmit 255 megabytes per second. The medium configuration doubles the bandwidth to 510 megabytes per second. The full configuration expands the data from 6 bytes per transmission to 8 bytes per transmission for a data rate of up to 680 megabytes per second. There are two connectors used for Cameralink. The standard connector that is used on most frame grabbers 
and many cameras. And the mini connector used mostly on cameras to facilitate smaller camera sizes. The base configuration requires only one connector on the camera and one on the frame grabber. The medium and full configuration require two connectors on the camera and two on the frame grabber. Camera link cables can be as long as 10 meters. At higher data bandwidths, 7 meters is an upper limit for reliable performance. Repeaters can be used to increase the effective cable length. Here are some other facts you should know about camera link. The maximum cable length is specified at 10 meters, but 7 meters is often the practical limit. There is no error checking or correction in camera link standard. If data corruption occurs, it will not be detected. However, camera link has proven extremely reliable unless cable length limits are exceeded. Because camera link is point to point, data latency is minimized to the transmission speed. The actual latency or time to transmit an image depends on the number of pixels in the image, variation in latency, a very important consideration in real-time systems, is very low in the range of a few nanoseconds. While camera power within the camera link cable, usually abbreviated as POCL, was originally excluded by the specification, the latest release of the specification provides for this as an option. So some cameras and frame grabbers support POCL and some do not. Here are the important takeaways for you as potential user of CameraLink. It is very high speed that can meet most machine vision requirements. We'll see later there are some interfaces capable of even higher speeds. It is point to point, allowing very low latency and very little variation in latency. This makes it good for high speed and real time applications. There are three versions of camera link, base, medium and full. They vary in data rate and the number of connectors and cables required. Camera link is good for about 7 meter cable length. There is no provision for detection or correction of data errors. While a potential for corrupted data exists, the interface is extremely reliable. Genicam and Power over Camera Link were added to the specification as an update. Your camera, frame grabber, and software may or may not support these options. Check to make sure. Now you know about camera link. You should go on to the next video and learn about the GIGI interface standards.